from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Food company Danone Nutriday announced in April Naheng Primary School in Gauteng as the beneficiary of its Nutriday Types to Classrooms Learning Center. The company will build a library for the school made from strong, lightweight bricks that have been converted from its recycled yoga tubs. Tasneem Bulbulia expands. Last year, Danone launched Nutriday's Types to Classroom campaign. 80 primary schools across three provinces collected yoga tubs to be turned into lightweight bricks to build a classroom for a school in need. The known Southern Africa Corporate Affairs Head Leanne Kiza spoke to Engineering News on site at the school about the campaign on the day the announcement was made. We're here for a very exciting reason. Um, it's all about Nutri-Day's Tubs to Classrooms project, which is actually a recycling campaign. And the event today is celebrating two things. Number one, we're announcing Naheng Primary School as the winner or the beneficiary of a library that's being donated by Danon. And this library is not any, any old library, it's actually very special because the bricks that are being used to build the library have been made from repurposed upcycled yogurt tubs. And so what the Tubs to Classrooms project does and what Nutri-Day seeks to do is we go to schools, we teach learners about the importance of recycling. So after they've enjoyed their delicious yogurt, they should clean that yogurt tub, collect the yogurt tub, and Danone in turn will collect those yogurt tubs also from the school, convert them into these bricks, and use the bricks to build learning centers like, like classrooms, or in this case, like a library. And so, yeah, why we're here today is really to celebrate Naheng Primary School, to congratulate them. They collected almost 9,000 tubs in the Tubs to Classrooms collection campaign of 2022. Um, and because they are such a phenomenal school, really leading the way in terms of recycling, um, Danone has elected to celebrate them and award them the library, which is being built from these bricks that you can see behind me here. So this school was selected because they were the best collecting school in Gauteng. In total, we had 100 schools collecting across the country last year, and this school was the best collector. So arguably, these kids were the most dedicated. We really celebrating these children as our recycling heroes. And as I say, they collected almost 9,000 tubs towards the 300,000 that we collected throughout the campaign last year. So that was the first thing. But also, Naheng Primary School is a very special school. It's obvious to us that they are um, doing work which is influ influencing not only their learners, but the community around them. A few other examples is that they're growing a vegetable garden here at the school. Not only does that feed their own learners, but also the surrounding community. And indeed, the library that we're donating, again, will serve the learners of the school as well as the surrounding community. So, so that was very exciting. And where we are now is that we have our plans drawn up. We have a copy of the plans over there. And we have our, our project team secure. We've submitted our plans to council for approval. And we expect a four to six week period before the plans are officially approved. Once they're approved, we come back, we break ground in this very space. And thereafter, there's a nine week construction process. So we're anticipating that by middle to end July, we will be hosting you again to celebrate the actual launch of the library, the actual structure. Kise expands on how this project is aligned to the company's sustainability drive. This is absolutely entrenched with what Danone does. Danone's purpose is called One Planet, One Health, which talks about the health of the planet and the health of people being interconnected. And as part of all of our business goals, we consider the impact on people and the impact on the planet, and we are out there to protect and preserve the planet's resources. So as we stand today, 99% of the materials that Danone uses in packaging are already recyclable, but we also believe that we have a role to play in helping to stimulate that recycling behavior, stimulate the awareness, stimulate stimulate the action and behavior among consumers for recycling. And so, so yeah, based on all of that, it's highly entrenched with our values and our vision. Kiesa touches on some of the benefits the project would provide. First of all, this structure itself, as you know, will be built into a library. In fact, they're calling it a library and a multi-purpose room because it will have projector facilities as well. Um, but who can ever underestimate the value of reading and learning to read? By the way, we're inviting other corporates around us, other organizations who want to be involved. If you are able to donate books, learning materials, anything that's age appropriate to the library, we welcome them to do so. Um, and, and Danan will create the forum for those sort of donations to happen. And so 
um, basically that, that safe space, a safe dedicated space to encourage reading and learning in a safe environment is something which is uh, uh, infrastructure lacking among, among South African schools today and we are, we are here to help solve the problem. And ultimately, as I said, the school is not only serving the local learners but actually the surrounding community as well. So a number of people even outside the school will also benefit and have that overflow of, of a good reading practice. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.